What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from GeeksterLabs.com and this video is brought to you by SellYourUsedIPhones.com So if you'd like to get cash for your used iPhone or iPad, check out the link in the description below. So guys, this review is of a product I'm really excited about. This is something I always look forward to with every iteration of the iPhone and this is a product that was sent to me free for review from Element Case and this is of the Black Ops case for the iPhone 6 slash 6s and it's also available for the iPhone 6 plus and 6s plus as well so this product retails for hundred and ninety nine dollars for both versions actually so right off the bat yes I realize it is a very expensive case the average person does not want to spend hundred ninety nine dollars on an iPhone case however I will say that this is probably my number one top favorite case of all time at the moment okay keep that in mind I review a lot of cases I have reviewed hundreds and hundreds of cases on my channel and uh, element case came around probably about the iPhone 4 I think is when they first had their cases and I've been in love with their cases ever since then there's something very unique about their cases they, they put a lot of love and craftsmanship into the style and the materials that go into their cases but I just want to let you guys know that I really 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 like this case I realize it's an expensive case $199 but there are people out there that are willing to spend that much money on a case and so if you do have that money and you are looking for a case to spend it on this is the case for you so let me go ahead and show you guys what comes inside the box it's definitely a premium experience when it comes to the everything the packaging and such there is the case itself love it love it love it we're just going to put that to the side and we're going to, I'm going to show you some super crispy detail close-ups of that in just a second. Get to that. Here's the, one of the bonus things that is included with this case. And so here's the box. We're just going to put this to the side. So included with every Black Ops case is their ballistic holster. And so it obviously does show you some instructions on how to install the case or your phone into the case. And here is the ballistics holster. So I'm not going to talk too much about this later on. I might as well get out of the way now. So here's the holster that comes with really high quality, made of ballistic, uh, like a nylon type of material. Definitely has a has a Velcro snap right there. Has a really high quality finish to it. It's really tough, durable. And so the cool thing about the holster is you can keep it uh, two different ways. You can either have it on your hip vertically like this and then pop it open and stick your iPhone into it that way. Or if you want to do it side saddle, you can put it, there's actually two different ways. So you can hold it like this on your belt. And there's also another, another strap towards the back if I can get my finger in the back here. Or you can put it on your belt sideways like this, that way. And then you have to open up the, the Velcro top right there and you stick your phone vertically into there that way. So horizontally, I should say, in the, put the phone that way. So you put it on your hip like that, or you can wear it straight up like that. Just really nice quality, and it, obviously a really nice thing that they throw into there. So, I mean, it is $200, it's hard to make an excuse for that, but they do include a really nice high quality holster along with that. So enough about the holster, let's talk about the case. All right guys, so let me show you this case really close up. So as you can see here, it has a really cool, nice design on the back there. It has some branding right there, so they got the E, the logo. So let's start at the top, okay? At the top, we have some CNC machined aluminum crowns. So the top pieces here are, are aluminum, so we got top and bottom, and those are anodized, so it's like a nice, nice kind of matte finish to it. So those are aluminum right there. We have an aluminum plate built into the back of the case itself right here with some numbering right there. I don't believe that's uh, specific to just one case. I think that's just a design element. That, that would be kind of cool if that was a serial number. I don't think it is though. And then we have the polycarbonate inset right here, this inlay part. So this is just plastic. This polycarbonate has like a nice matte finish to it though. And then when you get to the sides, the side rails, so we have one from here all the way over to here and we have another one from here to here. And those are made of G10 material. So that's the same type of material that you'll see like in gun handles, okay? And that's what it, it allows to have that extra grippiness right there. So that's what's on the sides. It's not, it's not uh, really, really rough. It's been kind of sanded a little bit, so it's a little bit softer. Um, they have, they used to have a version, uh, I think it's like two versions or three or two or one, one or two versions ago, they used to have this material that was really rough. And so now it's a little bit softer now, which is really nice. Before it would kind of like, it would rip, almost well, not rip, but it would dig into your jeans when you pull it in and out of your pocket. So I like how they, they've, they've sanded it down a little bit, but it still has a nice rough edge to it where it'll give you some extra grip when you hold it in your hand. I love, I love, love, love the aluminum red buttons. Red is my favorite color, as you guys probably already know by now. And so the, those are our buttons and then you can still feel that click when, it, when your phone is inside there. No problems with that. And so it does have a nice soft felt material on the inside here, so it's not gonna scratch the inside, the back of your phone or anything like that. 
So that is the case itself. Here's another thing that they've improved on and probably my number one thing that I always was bug bugged out about when it came to element cases. cases. I loved all their cases, but in the past, in order to get your phone into the case, you had to remove four screws and take off the caps to slide your phone into it. Now they finally have a system in place. They have their uh, quick release crown system. So if you just, so as you can see right there, I popped one off right there. So that is off of the phone. So the top piece off, the one piece of aluminum right there, the bottom piece of aluminum comes off right there. And now we're just going to uh, install the phone into the case. And there we are, we're good to go. And trust me guys, those crowns are not easy to take off, which is probably a good thing. You don't want them accidentally sliding off. So that's as easy as it is. Now it's really easy to take your phone in and out of the case. Like I said before, you used to have to unscrew four corner screws. Now that, that was just kind of an annoying, having the thing to have to type, I'll constantly deal with. So let's do some close-ups and show you some accessibility. All right, first on the side, we have a nice cutaway for the silent switch, easy to get to. We have the very awesome aluminum up and down volume buttons, which are really nice. You can still feel the click when you press on that. You can see that textured edge right there. Very cool, get to the bottom. We have the headphone jack, nice big opening there. I didn't have any issues fitting most of my headphones ports into that plug. The microphone, is there's an opening for that as well. Nice big opening for the lightning connector. I hate when cases come with a tiny little opening. This one fit, fits all of my uh, lightning connectors, even the, the much larger ones, so that's a good thing. A nice little open, open cutaway here for the uh, speaker grill. Get to the side to the sleep and wake button. Another aluminum button right there. Looks really nice, really sharp. You can still feel that click when you press on it, so that's pretty nice. Get to the back, we have a nice open opening here for the, um, the camera, the microphone, and the flash. And you can kind of see, you can see the edge of it. So it does not add much thickness to your, your phone at all. You can see the thickness right there. And so we have this nice aluminum back plate. Everything is just really sharp, really nice. High quality, awesome looking case, something very unique. You don't not have, you know, it, there's other cases out there that retail for $50. Let's just say 50 bucks. So they're just regular generic plastic cases. At least this has some, some cool design elements to it and it has some, a mixture of materials. Uh, the home button is not being blocked off or anything. You can kind of see a slight lip on it. Not by much, but there is a lip. So if you do have glass screen shields, this is not all the way up to the edge of it. So you could probably fit the glass screen shield on top of the screen. It should be just fine. But as you can see there, there are some interesting cutaways and ports on the sides right there. So you can see, I guess if you want to put a lanyard, you could probably do that for a wrist lanyard on each of the four corners. There's little openings for that. So just a really, really nice case. They really pay a lot of attention to detail when it comes to this case. So. That's, uh, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it, guys. For right now, this is my number one favorite case, and I really don't want to take it off my phone, but I do have to review more cases, but I'm gonna definitely hold on to this one and uh, continue using it when I'm not having to test out other cases. So if you have any questions about this product, post them down below in the comment section. I read each and every comment in all of my videos, and I will always get back to you guys as quick as possible. I just want to give another shout out to our sponsor, sellyouryousediphones.com. If you're looking to get cash for your used iPhone or iPad, check out the link in the description below. It's really easy. You just go to their site, you get a quote, you ship your phone to them, and then you get paid. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please show some love to the like button down below. And if you uh, want to stay up to date with all of my content on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in the next video review.